A lady <laughs> right here in America decided that she wanted to have a kookaburra as a pet. She thought that sound was really cool, right? <laughs> so she found a way against the law. That's what I look like this. She found a way to get one. She brought it home. She lived in an apartment. <laughs> Not smart. Her neighbors, they complained real quick. He, <laughs> excuse me, he came to us. He's been with us ever since. He's been with us for 10 years. He might live 40 or 50 years. Now, he's famous for his call. But let me tell you what he does that he should be famous for. This little guy, this little dude that doesn't look like much, is a member of the Kingfisher family, and his beak is so strong, his neck is so powerful, he can grab a six foot snake and eat it. Yes, There's some I famous to... videos of them doing not like not a snake fan, huh? Yeah. Right. <laughs> this guy can grab them and with that powerful beak and that strong neck, he can whip them back and forth until they're a limp noodle. The funniest part, the greatest part, is you can see lots of videos about this. There'll be a kookaburra sitting up in a tree with a six foot snake hanging out their mouth because it takes like three days to digest it. <laughs> They just sit there with a piece of meat and just, oh yeah, this is so good. Yeah, now he's not the prettiest bird in the world, but we do have beautiful birds at our facility. As a matter of fact, this next bird, Gabe thinks is the most handsome bird we have. It's because they look alike. Oh, Check out their heads. Seriously, we're going with all jokes. That's very good. This is Wizard, and what is Wizard? This is the turkey vulture. He is my favorite bird I've ever, ever worked with. He's, well, has a great life. The other point, first thing he does is that. He's sunbathing. He'll spread his wings. He might be on top of a tree or a telephone pole and he'll warm himself up. Once he's, look how magnificent he is. Once he's nice and warm, he'll take off his perch. He'll flap those wings just once or twice and he locks him in position. He becomes like a glide when he starts to soar. Big, lazy circle. He looks lazy. He's actually working. He's up top of him. He's smelling. He has a nostril that goes all the way through his top beat. He can take it as much wind as possible. And when he smells something really sticky, something really rotten, something he smells totally disgusting and gross, and has been dead for a while, you know what he says? Lunch time. That's what he eats. He eats carrion. He eats dead stuff. He circles yeah. around, he makes sure the coast is clear, he comes down and lands on top of it, and he starts to eat. And he eats and he eats and he eats. He'll take so much food, and he'll put so much food in his vulture belly, you know he's too heavy to fly. He will gorge himself so full he can't get off the ground. He, 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 that's ridiculous. Let's say your bunch of eat all the food, and a coyote also smells a carrion. And then coyote comes running over. Coyote's getting closer and closer. The vulture wants to get away, but he can't. He's too heavy to 